This analysis compares the top two dogs in the 16-inch division finals at the AKC National Agility Championship. On the left is the winner, Cheryl Morris and her border collie, Karma, and on the right is John Nyes and his Sheltie Rush. You can see that to start off, the two dogs are very, very close, taking jump two at about the same time and jump three at almost the same time, although it looks like Karma may be just slightly there before Rush. The first big difference comes here on this 180, and you can see we have two different video views, but Karma appears to take an extra stride relative to Rush a slightly wider turn so that if you take a look over here on the right of your screen and you see Rush he appears to be a little bit above Karma whose nose is not yet near the plane of the jump however Karma is able to use a longer stride to make up that difference and on the very next part of the sequence not only make up that difference but actually get ahead of Rush. So you can see here that as Karma is heading over the bar Rush is actually a little bit behind. The dogs put the same number of footfalls between those two jumps and between the jump and the A-frame. Let's take a closer look at this A-frame. You can see that Karma, with a slight lead, has actually a three-stride A-frame. So here's one, two, three, and down and into the tunnel. Rush has a traditional four-stride A-frame. One, two, three, four, and then off of the A-frame and down into the tunnel. So Karma picks up a stride here. As Rush comes out of the tunnel, we can head back over to Karma's side, and you see that Karma is already well on the way to the seesaw. Both dogs have a very nice seesaw performance, and take the same number of strides to the triple. However, you can see that Karma gets a little bit of a wide turn after the triple to the broad jump. And although it's very difficult to say, we think that Rush gets a slightly better turn toward the broad jump. But when we count footfalls, it looks like they each got the same number in there before the broad jump. It's really after the broad jump that you see a difference. Because of their length, Karma is able to save a stride right here over Rush and that lets them really extend their lead so that by the time you arrive at the entry of the weave pole for Karma over here on the left side of your screen you can see that Rush is just exiting the chute and by the time Rush begins to enter the weaves Karma is already on pole number two or three. Both dogs have excellent weave performances, good turns after the weaves, and it looks like both dogs have a really nice wrap here at the jump behind the weaves. They take the same number of strides between the weave pulls and this jump here. A little bit harder to see Rush coming through. And as we follow the video through to this jump, if you go back and look here, you see that they're approaching the jump at about the same time. Now remember, Karma had a pretty sizable lead headed into the weave pole. You saw that they were about two or three body lengths ahead. So something happened here that let Rush catch up with Karma. And so we're going to take a closer look at what that is. First, let's take a look at Karma. So she has a very nice wrap here. And if you count the footfalls, one, two, 
three, four, five, six, and then a jump. And if you take a look, as the dog lands, Karma wants to get a nice line to this jump and toward the dog walk. But Cheryl's in the dog's path just a little bit, and this is going to force Karma to come around the handler's body. And that adds some strides and gives Rush the opportunity to catch up a little bit. If you look at it in slow motion, you see that happening. Now let's go back to Rush's side. It's a little hard to see. Rush is in here. They take that jump and here they land. One, two, three, four. And they're up and over. So from my view, it looks like they get four footfalls in, where Karma took six. So they're able to make it up a difference of two footfalls, uh, which is basically two strides. And if you look here at the takeoff point, you see that this is true. Karma's mid-jump, Rush is just taking off, and Rush has really closed that distance. But Karma's got great size, gets a good turn to the dog walk, and actually saves a stride and is able to really leap onto the dog walk and again pick up a little bit of distance on Rush. So as they enter the dog walk here and plant their foot, you see that Rush is not yet to the dog walk. Now Rush hits the dog walk and you see that Karma is already on the dog walk. They both have excellent dog walk performances. And you would expect Karma to maintain this lead. But as they approach this jump, you see Karma in the air here. Rush has once again somehow made up the deficit. And to see what happened, we've got to back the video up a little bit. You see that as Karma comes off, again, the same scenario that just happened before the dog walk has happened again. Karma would like to take a nice line here to this jump and finish the course. But Cheryl's in her path just a little bit again, and this is going to force Karma to go around her handler's body and add some strides. Now if you come over to Rush's side, you see that as Rush comes in and off of the dog walk, John is completely out of the way. So Rush is a nice clear path to the jump. And it looks like after the dog walk, his front feet strike the ground three times. Karma, on the other hand, gets one, two, three, and a fourth. So the extra step there, again, gives Rush the opportunity to catch up and make this a close race. But just like in the opening, you have basically another 180. And as we learned from the first part of the course, the 180 is a place where a longer strided dog can separate themselves from a shorter strided dog. And that's what you see happen again here. Even though they take the same number of foot strikes between these last two jumps, by the time Rush gets ready to leave, on the right side of your screen about to launch, you can see on the left side of your screen that Karma is about to land. And if you just back that up a little bit here, as Rush comes over the bar, of the next to the last jump, you see that Karma is also just over the bar, so it's really, really close at this point. But on this nice big 180, the stride once again is going to pull out this win and provide the margin of victory in this run. 
This run gives an um, excellent example of the differences in stride between two dogs that may be in the same height but uh, different in height and reach and also demonstrates the importance of trying to stay out of your dog's path as much as possible in order to let them take the best line for themselves. These were both great runs, two great handlers, two great dogs. Congratulations to them both.